Greetings, folks. Uh, Joel at Earth Tools here. We're going to talk today about mounting an Earth Tools manufactured mowing sulky onto the walk behind tractor. And we call this a mowing sulky because it's a sulky that's designed to hook to the tractor while the tractor is in front PTO mode, as you can see here. Uh, we've got the implement in the front, handlebars in the, on the engine side of the machine. So this sulky could be used for various applications where the implement is in the front, like a, a hay rake or a snow blower or a, uh, a, a power sweeper or something like this. You usually wouldn't want to use it for a hay baler because the hay baler has a, has a manual eject of the bales and you'd be getting up and down of the seat uh, you know, about every 60 seconds and that would wear you out more than walking. But for applications where you're just going, you know, like mowing big, app, big fields or whatever, this thing has some practical application. Uh, I will say that the mowing sulky is not something that everybody needs. The, the walk behind tractor is a tool that is designed, it was, it's engineered to walk behind. So when you attach something to ride behind it, it's sort of an afterthought in a way. And the engineering, the, the handling of the machine comes a, becomes a little more awkward. So for example, if you're mowing in, in places where you need to do a lot of tight turns or uh, back and forth maneuvering, you find the limitations of a mowing sulky really quickly because it's a trailer. It's hinged here, and, uh, and when you're backing it up, it can do what a trailer does when you back up. It can try to jackknife and screw around with you, and of course it, it, it reduces your turning radius because, again, you have a trailer behind the machine. You don't want to jackknife it. But for those more wide open applications for mowing or uh, you know, snow blowing or something like this, the sulky can save you some steps. So, um, BCS has offered a sulky like this for many years, at least 20, maybe 30 years. Uh, and we've sold many of those and they're fairly, it's a fairly good design, but the, it has some shortcomings. The main one we find is how it's attached to the axles of the tractor. Uh, we didn't like that system on the BCS Sulky, so that's why we went ahead and engineered our own Sulky kind of from the ground up using the general shape of theirs. Uh, but the important thing about how this Sulky attaches is that it attaches at the axles. That's why we've got these posts mounted to the axles here. That's where it's going to mount. The BCS system is just like that because it's important that when you add something like a, a Sulky like this, you don't change the center of gravity of the tractor. That is, you we're hooking this on at the fulcrum point of the tractor, so we're not changing the balance of the machine. If we hung this sulky like right to the tow hitch and then sat on it, our weight would be pushing down on the engine, which would tend to raise the implement off the ground. We don't want that. We want the balance to remain the same. So attaching it at the, at the fulcrum point there is key. And that's one of the things we emulated in the BCS design. Uh, to put our sulky on, we've utilized a set of essentially our barbell weight hanger posts. We've manufactured these things for over 30 years in order to hang barbell weights on this, this solid post to add wheel weight to the tractor to increase traction. Uh, we made a slightly longer version of the post for the sulky. It needed to stick out a little further. And we've also got this locking collar on here. Now, if you've purchased one of these sulkies from us, you'll have a full set of instructions showing you how to put everything together, and including how to install this locking collar. It just slides on here, and you tighten a little Allen bolt. And uh, so we're assuming that that's already been done by you at this point, since the sulky is assembled. Uh, if you wanted to use these barbell weight hanger posts to hang extra barbell weights on here without uh, the sulky in place, that is not in conjunction with the sulky, you could just take these collars off. You just loosen that up with a 5-30 Allen wrench and slide that collar off, and then you can stack the weights up all the way to the end and put one of these linch pins in there. We supply a couple linch pins with the mowing sulky. They're actually not necessary to hold the sulky on, but they would do a great job holding barbell weights on. So they're there. But now we're going to talk about just getting the sulky on and off here in the easiest fashion. So in your instructions for the assembling this thing, You've got bolts at all these points except one. There's a, one of these is a pin, a little V-pin with a little retaining clip. And this is important because this allows, this pin, this easy removal of this pin allows this L bracket to actually hinge outward on this bolt. I'm gonna slide that back in there for a second. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this thing up and walk it forward. It's actually best if you offset the handlebars so that they don't poke you in the face. Bring it up like this and then just set this thing on top. Kind of just set it on top of there for the time being. Then we'll come around to the other side. I needed to grab a lynch pin. Just need one. And then we take this. What did I do over there? There we go. Oh, I know what I did. I first should have pulled this pin out of here first, so that side can hinge there. Now I can pull this thing out a little easier. Put this slid on. Just enough to get the linchpin through. Right there. Don't even have to clip it down. It's going to come out of there in a minute. And you slide this side in. The removal of this pin allows this side to hinge in and out. I've got that bolt a little tight. Actually, the whole frame is real tight because this thing is powder coated and powder coating took up a little extra space in the, inside the metal, so it's a pretty tight assembly. But anyway, now that we've got that on there, I'm going to get this straightened out and I'm going to get this pin back in. Now, because this is so tight, I find I have to use a lineup tool. I'm sure once we use this sulky a couple hours, everything will loosen up a little bit. The lineup tool is a great way to not beat your brains out. You're trying to get tight things together lines up the hole really well. So now that that's in, this is locked into place now. It can no longer hinge out. And because of where we've got these collars set on those posts, basically it's bottomed out against those collars. I can now reach over here and get rid of our linchpin. You don't need the linchpins to hold the sulky on. The sulky simply can't come off. because Now this U-shape is locked into place. It can't slide this way because of that collar, and it can't slide this way because of that collar. So it's on there until you pull this pin back here and allow the side to hinge open. So this is one of the problems with the BCS system is they do use a linch pin to hold their little brass retaining washer in that holds everything together. And weeds get wrapped up around them and pull them out all the time and then it falls off. Your $30 brass washer falls off and you have to go to the, to the BCS store to get a new one. But uh, this completely eliminates that system. This, instead of being a brass bushing, is an actual ball bearing in here, which will last probably 100 years if you keep it out of the rain. Uh, so that's taking your rotational stress there with no friction. Uh, we've got a spring-loaded seat for comfort. We have solid rubber tires, or, well, they're, they're non-pneumatic tires, so they still have a little give to them. slides in and out so you can increase or decrease the distance between the seat and the footrests here, just depending on how long your legs are. Uh, for myself, I would probably slide this all the way to the back hole because if, when I get on this, you'll see that my legs are a little more bent than I would like them, so I'd probably bring that back a little bit. You also have adjustments here. There's three holes where this bolt goes through. You can't see them now because they're underneath the metal, but there's three bolts here which could extend this frame out further from the tractor. But I think uh, just this shortening this thing up as much as possible is usually what you want because you don't need a lot of extra space back here. As long as it clears the engine well in all positions, then there's not a problem. It does. Uh, we've also got four positions under here for the seat. You can remove the seat bolt and slide the seat forward and back in four positions. So. Everything is adjustable to fit whatever size human you are. Uh, also, because of the strength of our fastening system here with these, you know, fully rounded, that, that is, this is a solid piece of metal going all the way around this bearing, we can support hundreds of pounds of weight on that thing. And we, we decided that we'd go ahead and put a larger hole in the back of this tongue for you to hook a trailer if you want to. So if you've got some lawn and garden trailer that you pull behind an ATV or a lawn tractor, you can hook it up there with a hitch pin, and this thing is perfectly capable of pulling that weight. 
uh, with the VCS brand sulkies, their, their mounting system there at the wheel was kind of dicey and we found that if people hooked a trailer behind them and went up a steep hill and you know put the thing to some, uh, to some stress, it would actually ruin that mounting system. It would just stretch the metal out and it was no good. It was, it was barely strong enough to just move you around. But this thing is plenty strong to move some extra weight around, provided you have the traction to do it. So, that's it. Enjoy your sulking. Thanks.